You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rudrians for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Brittany Griner. Russia came out and made some statements this morning that it looks like Biden's proposed prisoner swap is is looking quote unquote optimistic. Yikes. Just a quick quick refresher. We're looking at trading the merchant of death, Victor Bout, a notorious arms dealer, and a Russian scumbag to be named later for WNBA star Brittany Griner. Yeah, a basketball player. And for former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan. Now there's also an American woman over there that's a teacher. And there's also another American man over there that's also a teacher. Neither one of them has been mentioned by the Biden administration whatsoever in all of this. Putrid. Putrid. Uh, by the way, all these people have been in Russia longer than Brittany Greider. I should just bring that up, too. Uh, so, let's take a look at this. Uh, Russian jail, I mean. Uh, Russia optimistic on prisoner swap, including WNBA star Griner. This is Bloomberg. Russia, for the first time, expressed guarded optimism about talks with the U.S. on prisoner exchange involving WNBA star Brittany Griner and another jailed American. Quote, quiet diplomacy is continuing and it should bear fruit if, of course, Washington strictly follows it without slipping into propaganda. I mean, the Russians are monstrous on the Biden administration and these politicians now keeping their mouths shut. Alexander Jarchviv, head of the North American Department of Russian Foreign Ministry, said in an interview with the state TASS news service published on Saturday... Today, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Russian Foreign Ministry Sergei Lavrov said earlier this month they're willing to pursue the talks a day after Moscow court sentenced Griner to nine years in prison on drug charges. President Joe Biden called Griner's punishment, quote, unacceptable and said the White House would work tirelessly to pursue her release. And we know why she's in jail. We know about Victor Bout, so I'm going to skip down here. Uh, a Russian official asked via a back channel to include in any swap deal Vadim Kaz Kazakov, that is the murderer that's in Germany. So that that is a thing. Okay, that is a thing. We don't know if that's going to work out, that they're going to get a damn murderer in this. Uh, on top of Bout... But there's a couple of other targets here. Another potential target for Russia could be Vladsliv Kalush, Kalushin. I don't know. A Kremlin insider extradited from the U.S. to the U.S. Uh, from Switzerland to the U.S. in December on insider trading charges. Several people in Moscow with knowledge of the matter said he may be far more valuable to Russia and the U.S. Russia intelligence has concluded that he has access to documents related to the hacking of the Democratic Party servers during the 2016 presidential election, according to people in Moscow close to the Kremlin and security services. One of Kalushin's alleged co-conspirators who remain at large was previously charged in connection with Russia's scheme to interfere in the vote. Wow. A lot of, a lot of grade-eight scumbags we're talking about... Uh, Turning back over to Russia at this point for, again, Brittany Griner. This is a person, I'll just remind you real fast, protested against our country with the national anthem. And yes, not showing up onto a basketball court for the national anthem, in my opinion, is disrespectful in a protest. There, we got that out of the way. Uh, so that's where we stand this morning. 
the talks are, quote, now optimistic by the um, opinion of Russia, but only if our politicians and Joe Biden keeps his mouth shut and he cur dogs, kowtows down to Russia. <laughs> Is there any country that Biden and his administration is not compromised to at this point? This is just becoming a joke. I mean, countries are just literally telling us what to do all over the place. China, Russia, you just name it. Uh, Biden's just going to do it. Weak. So, that's where we are. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.